probably one of them I ain't on the court. Me and my homie Sean, we were supposed to play in a lifetime league together. But see, I'm gonna explain something to you, dog. I ended up getting hurt. That's my chest up. So sometimes the Lord here redirect things. Sometimes he hold things back so you can bear more fruit. Because the end result is you being victorious at the end. It may not feel pleasant at first, no, I'm about, but the end result, you're gonna see the fruit bear and it's gonna blossom. See, there's gonna be a lot of times you're gonna have good days, bad days, ups and downs. But the best thing about it is, even through the midst of the storm, you always can have peace because Jesus Christ is your peace. It's gonna be a lot of days, dark days, bad days, sunny days, but it's always times and seasons for everything. And everything has beauty in it. What's going on everybody? So, this is my new channel. Well, it ain't really new, but I, I barely posted on this channel, you know what I'm saying? But I want to come out here, you know what I'm saying, give y'all some life advice filled with the Holy Ghost, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to share a quick testimony. So, y'all know I play basketball. Uh, so, the gym I go to is called Lifetime Fitness. So, I ended up getting hurt preparing for the league. My chest been bothering me, so I ain't been able to play. Uh, but my homie Rashawn, he been able to play, you know, so I'm waiting on the healing process in order for me to come back, you know what I'm saying? The Lord been ministering to me, you know what I'm saying? And the title of the video is gonna be Beauty in the Struggle, Beauty in the Storm, you know what I'm saying? See, sometimes the Lord, he allow things to happen so he can redirect our focus, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes our focus is not all the way on the Lord, so he allows something to happen so that we could get our focus back on him. You know what I'm saying? See, when you're going through life, you're going to have ups and downs. There's going to be bumps in the road. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be potholes that you're going to be thrown in the fire. You know what I'm saying? But it's all about how you respond while you're in that fire. It's all about how you respond in that situation. It's all about how you respond while you're going through that tough time. Maybe a tough time with your friend, your spouse, your parents. You may be in a disagreement in your house. Whatever the case may be, it's straight like this. If God is for you, who can be against you? Jesus Christ is the reason why we on this earth to this day. Every day that you wake up, it's another day that God has given you grace to repent and accept him as your Lord and Savior. See, when you follow the Lord, bro, everything ain't gonna be easy, but it's gonna be worth it. You gonna go through warfare, you gonna go through tough times, you gonna go through hell some days. But guess what? There's no temptation that can overcome you because, again, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. What that mean is the attacks is going to come. It's going to hit you. But if you got the armor of God on, which is your word, if you've been in your word, that attack can't do nothing with you. You know what I'm saying? See, when you're going through life, bro, you're going to have things you got to deal with. Kids, family, your spouse, managing a house, whether it be work, worrying about finances and this and that. Let me explain something to you. As long as you keep your eyes focused on the Lord, Everything gonna be all good. I ain't been able to play basketball in two weeks. I love basketball. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Ball is life. I don't even say that no more because Jesus is my life. But basketball is my, you know, it's my assignment. See, the thing is, when I when I ain't playing basketball, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I be low key kind of heated. You know what I'm saying? I can keep it a buck with you. Cause I, I'm a, I'm a gym rat. I'm a lab rat, bro. I be in the gym 24/7. So it's like sometimes, like right now, I ain't been able to lift weights. I ain't been able to work out like a week and a half. I've been, wanting, I've been waiting, I've been preparing for this league. Can't play yet, you know what I'm saying? We still got a while to go, but it's like the process of going through that healing process, going through the process of being molded to God put you in that position to where you need to be. A lot of folks, they don't like going through that process. But I hear the Lord saying, stay content with where you at. Because when you stay content, not comfortable, when you stay content, instead of asking God, okay, God, what's next? Okay, you bless me with this, now what's next? God wants you to be content with the blessing he gave you. And then he'll promote you. God gonna promote you. Ain't, let me tell you something. God see everybody. You are not overlooked if you follow the Lord. God don't overlook his children at all. He love all his children the same. That healing process that going through the storm, that ain't easy to go through. It's difficult to go through. But see, 
when you keep your eyes fixated on the on the Lord and not the storm, see for example, when the disciples was on the boat and they saw the storm, and instead of focusing on the Lord, they woke the they woke the Lord up. He like, y'all y'all got little faith. He rebuked the storm. See when you keep your eyes fixated on the Messiah, the Jesus, the cross, that storm ain't gonna be nothing. And it's obvious it's easier said than done. There's been times I've been upset with the Lord. There's been times I've been cussing, complaining to the Lord. Cause I can be real, I can keep it a buck on here. And I'm just being real with you. See, when you follow the Lord, God will make everything fall in place for you. This walk ain't never been easy because if it was easy, everybody and mama would be able to do it. And this the raw, unedited truth. Following the Lord, you lose things. But God will let you gain back double in the mighty name of Jesus. I can testify. The Lord had me give up Godzilla. The Lord had me give up my PlayStation 5. I ain't played a game for a whole year. The Lord had me give up all these things. Even tattoos. But guess what? When I first came to the Lord, do you know why the Lord told me stop doing all this stuff? He wanted to remove all, he wanted to remove my mind from all carnal things so I could have 100% focus on him. Guess what? Two years later, the Lord said I can do all them same things again. As long as I keep my focus on the Lord. See, sometimes people get scared to follow the Lord because they like, okay, if we follow the Lord, he gonna take things away. When you look at it like that, you ain't never gonna get it. But when you follow the Lord and be like, okay, I surrender and I'm trusting that you gonna give me an abundant life. That's when you made it. When you start praying to God like he your father instead of him just being your God, that's when you know you up in the true relationship. You know what I'm saying? See, the Lord, man, let me tell you something. The Lord done blessed my life so much, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm so blessed to be up in this life that I'm in. And it's only by the grace of God while I'm here. And I'm blessed. You feel me? I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. I came from Chicago, bro. Born and raised. God protected me, kept me safe. I'm here. Do you know how many people come out of Chicago? Not a lot. That's a city where very few make it out, especially when you live in the hood. I stayed in Chicago Heights. I stayed in Harvey. I stayed right by Ford Heights. I used to be in Englewood with my grandma from time to time. Out in the city. You know what I'm saying? See, that stuff right there. When you come from, like, you know, the city, when you come from that type of place, like, that, like you know, when you come from that type of environment, when you come from that type of cloth, man, let me tell you something. And you make it out, ain't nobody, ain't nothing finna stop you. You know what I'm saying? I keep it a book. Sometimes folks got an attitude like, oh, can't nobody tell me, no, I, I came out of this, I came from the jungle, boy. But guess what? Only person that can tell me something is God and God's people. Because I got to stay humble to myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I came out the jungle, I came from the jungle, but guess what? God tamed, God tamed me, and he made me a servant for his kingdom. See, when you're going through the storm, when you're going through the process, it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? I grew up, folks was having shootouts right outside my house, all that type of stuff. When you're going through that process, that molding process, it's beauty in the struggle. That's what a lot of folks don't understand. It's beauty in the struggle. You know in your, in your hardest times, God will bless you with a big blessing in the midst of your wilderness season, your Job season. God will do that for you if you believe it. If you believe it, stand firm on his word. Tenfold in the mighty name of Jesus. So again, it's my new channel. I want y'all to subscribe. Hit all, hit the notification button. Every time I come on here, hit the notification button because you're going to receive a notification because they, they, you know, they mess with my other channel. Come on here. I'm going to be doing podcasts on this channel, vlogs, all this. So again, I pray, Father God, I pray for the people. I pray, Lord God, that you will bless and protect and keep them safe. I pray you will deliver them, Lord Jesus. Set them free, set them on fire. I send fire that way. I commit every foul spirit to lead anybody. Jesus' name. God bless y'all, boy.